How we doing today, folks? It's me again, Shannon Fox here, Devoted Patriots Channel. And at the moment, I've got a uh, compilation video. It's about 20 minutes long that I'm in the process of exporting on my laptop, and it'll be up here directly. Um, it's um, all these folks that need to eat some crow for all their lies and their cover-ups and their Russia misinformation disclaimer on the whole laptop story. Um, it definitely is very damning to the left, the liars, and, of course, the Biden regime. Now, uh, before I get into some news, let me let y'all know I'm just in a great mood today uh, just because of uh, a couple things I found out. One, I get to do an interview this morning with a guy from the local food bank here in town. The guy's name is Bob. I know him real well. And uh, he's sending uh, tons of food to Ukraine. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to Poland. I'm going to ask him some of, the, some of these questions I have uh, for him here in a little while. I'm going to do a live it should be uh, between 1 and 2 o'clock my time, uh, just as soon as I can get in touch with this man here in the next hour or so. But uh, I'm going to go up to his pantry and uh, just interview him and uh, see if I can um, at least promote him as well and uh, be able to give you all his information down in the description below at the bottom of the live. If anybody's interested in um, helping the people of Ukraine with things like uh, toiletries and groceries, uh, with donations and things, uh, I don't mind doing this. Uh, I feel sorry for in the in the middle of all this is going on uh, with Russia and Ukraine. I feel sorry for the uh, citizens, uh, the civilians in this battle. And uh, when I see somebody like Bob uh, able to uh, make it happen, uh, getting these folks some food, uh, whatever provisions that he can uh, get to them th through a, a local pantry here in town, I'm just glad to be a part of it in any way I can and promote that. And so I decided it was going to be it's going to be a great day. Uh, just be able to bring you all that. I, I think everybody ought to um, get involved sometimes, helping with your local pantries and uh, civic duties. Um, just what you can do, whatever you can do to help when uh, someone's in need. And uh, I think this is a great cause, and that's why I'm doing this. And on another note, one of the other things I got to smile about today, I got a phone call from Matt in exile this morning, and he says it looks like he said he said it's not a guarantee for Monday. He says, but it looks like uh, one day this week. Uh, we're going to get to interview Clay Clark. Uh, great. Uh, I like Clay Clark. Uh, he's uh, one of the people uh, with him and General Flynn are the ones that have set up this reawakening tour that's been going on across the United States for the last year or so. I went to a reawakening tour in Dallas and uh, listened to Clay Clark as well. Uh, super smart guy. Uh, just uh, a wealth of information. And uh, he's a great patriot. There's no doubt about it. Uh, just for all the things that he's uh, helping this country, uh, helping with it with in this country, including uh, fighting the jab and the mandates and things of that nature. Uh, Clay Clark is just awesome. Uh, I believe we're going to get an interview with him on the Fox and Archibald show or Blue Collar Talk. I'm not sure which, maybe both. It just depends on his scheduling, um, and um, I don't know if it'll probably be next Monday before uh, it, it, it comes out. And it won't be Monday's episode because we've already filmed that, but it'll probably be the following Monday's episode. Don't miss it. It'll be great. Clay Clark is is, is, is a superhero in this uh, in this fight for uh, freedom, as far as I'm concerned. He is waking people up every day with his message and uh, his his entrepreneurial skills and ability to uh, get these people together to organize uh, what we need to do to uh, get our country back. So, two great interviews this week. Uh, one today with Bob at the food bank, and uh, hopefully tomorrow... Or, or Monday or Tuesday, we'll get to uh, have an interview with Clay Clark as well. And I'm just looking forward to both. Sounds awesome. Now, let me get into a little bit of news. Enough about me. Um, I'm going to leave you a link in the description down below to one of these articles because I don't really want to say too much about it. Uh, you'll figure it out down at the bottom. You'll check it out here if you would. It says, um, Pisaki, that's what I call her, uh, spars with New York Post reporter asking about the laptop. From hell, and the Biden crime family with Russian with the Russian oligarchs. She didn't have nothing to say. Uh, truth be known, she uh, had an opinion about Trump all this time, and uh, she's pretty good about having an opinion about anybody on the conservative side to try to point the finger at him and to smear the story in one particular direction. But when it comes at somebody on the left, like uh, the president's son, uh, Hunter Biden, crack crackpot Biden. Sure enough, she won't cover it. She won't discuss it. She has no opinion about it. 
And she says, you'll have to refer to the State Department because the truth be known, he's under investigation, and I'm glad to see it. Hopefully, we'll get somebody to actually throw some charges at this guy behind IRS tax fraud, uh, probably not paying his child support, among other things. Plus all his dealings with all those Ukrainian and Russian oligarchs as well. That's what need, uh, we need to get to the bottom of. That's why I encourage everybody to watch that compilation video that's about 20 minutes long. It'll be over here on this channel. Uh, here directly after I finish this video. It's actually uploading now. So this is it's kind of funny. It says, top Ukrainian official challenges Biden to come to Kiev during a CNN interview if you are brave. Biden's not going to Kiev. He's not going... He's not going over there. No doubt about it. He may send Kamala, though. That, that That's always hope. We can always hope for that. You know, um, Lin, Lin Wood is having a controversy with uh, what's going on uh, over the confirmation of Andrew Whitney's uh, uh, part in the selections. And the Gateway uh, Pundit is reporting on it. And uh, there's a response to it. And I don't really understand Lin Wood's... Uh, answer so i'm not going to get into that because i really don't have enough uh information to give a full opinion on it but i will leave you a link in the description to this full article if you want to hear what linwood is saying about uh andrew whitney who is definitely a confirmed spy uh from england who did his best to derail the 2020 and um and, and the whole trump thing uh, he, he was definitely an orange man bad working with Trump, and uh, that's being exposed at this point, but uh, Lynn Wood's involvement, I don't understand it. Uh, there's probably a lot more to the story than what we're getting at this point, but like I said, I'll leave you a link in the description below if any of you want to uh, find out a little more about Lynn Wood and his ways today. I don't know what to think about Lynn Wood. Sometimes he says some things that I wonder, is he crazy? Can he prove it? Where did he get his information from? I feel that way almost every time. Linwood opens his mouth, so I don't cover him too much just for that very reason alone. Plus, YouTube don't like him. It says, uh, I put Linwood and Alex Jones in the same boat. They're credible sources of information most of the time. And I'll just leave it at that. It says, uh, well, I can't talk about that. Uh, them things over in uh, Russia's talking about that are over in Ukraine that, um, yeah, I won't get into that. Uh, I'll just leave that one alone. It's over on the Gateway Pundit. It's uh, basically Russia is challenging the U.S. Asking about those uh, those experiment factories over there. It says, and we got proof of it. it says, uh, the U.S. Embassy in Kiev, Jonah Wintrow, why she signed off on these things if they're not real. And that's, that's what the Russian uh, Prime Minister is asking today. <sighs> There's definitely some questions that need to be answered behind all this. Now, the New York Post calls out 51 former senior intelligence officers, including, including former CIA chief who openly lied about the laptop being Russian disinformation. Y'all remember that speech when uh, Trump and uh, Biden were having their debate and Trump called him out right there at the end? And, uh, and uh, it basically boils down to uh, Biden's like, well, I got 50 people that said that it ain't true. Well... All 50 of those people, plus five, and we're talking top intelligence officials, uh, CIA guys, FBI, FBI guys, senior intelligence officers, all on the take. So it looks like we got 55 folks to fire when uh, Trump gets back in town. That's all I really want to say about that. Yeah, uh, there's a great media compilation over on the Gateway Pundit, but I'm bringing that to y'all here directly. It's a little long, like I said, but um, it just shows... How much crap they're feeding the public with their misinformation, calling the truth misinformation. Go figure. Let me see here. It says, uh, Senator John Kennedy slams Biden for not standing up to the leftist on his energy creation policy. And there's a little video about that over here on the Gateway Pundit. I'm probably just going to save that video. I, I do uh, John, Kerry, John Kennedy compilations occasionally, and this will be another one I'll just put in the file. Bring it to you another day. John Kennedy's got a way with words that I just, I always like. Straight to the point. Let's see here. It says, um, that's enough, folks. I'll save that for another video. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a live here in about, well, uh, one, between one and two o'clock central time. 
I'm going to jump on and do a, like a 30 minute or an hour long live with this guy uh, at the food bank uh, this morning and just ask him some questions about uh, why he's doing what he's doing and what, what, what we can do as well to help. Like, subscribe, and share to Voted Patriots. Over and out.